What are you gonna do? We go burn some stuff. What What are you gonna burn? You are. No, I am. You're gonna watch. All right, let's go out. Come on, go outside and get to work. All right, little buddy. Are we living the dome life? I, yes, you can sit and watch. That's what I need you to do. Let's let's uh, go talk about what we're gonna do. So today, I've already cut these uh, four by fours. They're four by four by ten. Cut them to five foot lengths, and we're going to make fence posts. I'm not gonna start over here. Actually, got them all marked out. So we're gonna make a fence there. Eventually, we're gonna make a fence. Going across right here, start right there, and have a fence over here. So we'll have one pen over here. This is most likely going to be for the tortoises when they get bigger, or if we can find some larger tortoises. Look at this. Uh, we've wrapped most of the things in wire, and I thought they had said that the rabbits don't like these, but I guess the rabbits do. They like that one, but not that one. We got two, and one got eaten. What happened, Scotty? Huh, they got eaten. These got eaten. Okay, so those all up. This one so far is getting eaten a little bit, not too bad. The San Pedro, I think that damage was from the past. But anyways, this is where I'm gonna be putting some fence posts in today. Hopefully, we'll see how far I get. We got the fence post digger. We'll get that guy out. I got one, two, three, four fence posts, bud. What do you think about that? But first, what we're gonna do is we got the torch. We're going to do the old Shoshugiban. We're going to burn the wood to protect it should be uh, quite interesting. Let's uh, get to work. I call that a success. success. Comes out looking pretty, uh, pretty cool. Shushugi bone. They say it's supposed to last. 50 to 80 years. I've seen some people say 100 years. So we're doing the fence posts. Um, kind of charring the. I'm gonna do two feet in the ground, three feet above the ground. So I'll show you. I really charred the the bottom sections really good. That's supposed to help protect. And the top, I didn't char as much, but it really looks cool. And then I'll. Um, once I'm done with this and I get them installed on the ground, I'll uh, cover them with some mineral oil or some type of oil to help seal as well. So, so far, so good. Pretty cool little process. Um, lots of people are probably like, oh, it's not OSHA approved. What are you doing wearing sandals? Oh well, my feet are hurting. And I'm kind of used to working with fire, being a plumber, soldering around dried wood and stuff like that. I've gotten used to it. I do have safety precautions. I do have the fire extinguisher right there. And I've also got the hose right here. I am doing it kind of behind this wind block. The wind is coming from right in my face. So down on the ground, it's really not that bad. So far, so good. That went as well as it could have gone for my first time doing Shoshugiban. I've seen a lot of this on TV. Never knew about it before watching that. Um, see it all over the place now. Haven't seen it too much out here, but it seems like a pretty cool way to uh, treat wood without chemicals. So let's check it out. All of them 
are done. You see I charred the bottom pretty good. You just want to get that like looks almost like lizard skin. Pretty cool. And then once I start working with it, it'll rub some of it off. I can always go back and burn more of it in or sand some of it off for the desired look. But I'm pretty happy with it. Now, time to figure out the post hole digger and see what's up with that. We went the uh, a gas powered post hole digger so I can rip this out. Hopefully quick, never used one before in my life, but it's always fun to learn new things. Cactus, not doing so good. I think they're getting too much sun. These ones, they're not really cactus, they're succulents. This one seems to love the sun. Got our little bench. Pop that up real quick. I really need to go through and sand it down. I might even burn that thing because there's quite a few splinters and whatnot. Got a bunch of extra brick that we found all over the place. Haven't figured out what we're going to do with that. Amy's got the uh, little planter going on. It's rocking. All the flowers weren't there when she, she planted them, so doing good. Use the trailer to get up all, pick up all the wood. What I'm thinking about doing is having some sort of walkway through and all the way out. Don't know what kind of walkway. Don't might just do little steps or whatnot. And still thinking about the roof. I think we're gonna go green. Who knows? We shall see. Keep you all posted. See ya. Well, typical me. I always. Forget to grab the camera, like always, out here, still working on the fence post. Now, mind you, this is my first time ever installing a fence. I've never done this before. I haven't even really watched a video. I've just kind of looked at fences and been like, okay, drill holes, put fence posts in, hook them together. Who knows how this is going to come out? But so far, I've got two in. I uh, We bought a fence post hole dr dr driller. And man, that thing rocks. Check this guy out. Check that bad boy out. It's really just the first like three, four inches of uh, soil that's hard. So this one, there's a concrete footing down there. So that's as close as I could get. So I'm gonna have to fill something in. Probably just put wood overhanging to block that and then probably put chicken wire. Or some sort of wire. Got that one in. Got that one in. Got a rope. Got two more to uh, drill. And yeah, hopefully this uh, works out. Should be quite interesting. so pretty with my little headgear on. Should I, should I go COVID style? COVID. Oh, I hate wearing the mask, but hey, I get it. Whatever. So, like most projects out here, I always just come outside and I just start working. And sometimes I get too far into things and it's like, oh, I didn't videotape it. And then mom gets all mad. You should have videotaped it. You should have put a time lapse up, but so update on the fence. The fence is all done. Well, I gotta stain it. Since we're gonna actually go with the green roof, that should look pretty sweet. I've actually ordered some stain that is green tinted. I'm gonna try a sample and go with that. But we did the Shoshugi bond. We got wire at the bottom. It's only down a little bit. I'm probably gonna put some more spikes at the bottom. Got this guy. Got the little latch. Closes, it sticks out the bottom. This four by four is not straight, so it sticks out. I just got a latch. I can keep it closed to keep all the rabbits out. Um, yeah, but so far, most of the day, we just keep it open. Keep it latched so you don't have to deal with the wind blowing it around. So plan is have a little walkway through here on both sides, just a bunch of plants. 
plants and grass. And this will be a bearded dragon cage eventually. We'll have the, probably the leopard tortoises on this side. A little pond over here. Started digging out. Got to actually run um, electrical from the inside of this wall. Probably this wall over here. Run electrical out and then across so I can have heated boxes for the bearded dragons. And then also run electrical over here, have a pump for infiltration for a little pond. Don't know if I'll put fish in it, don't know what we'll do, maybe some turtles. Who knows? Uh, just was tinkering around last night and built this little fire pit. Built that in like 10 minutes. Gonna probably move it back a little bit. I, I, it's gonna might even be a pain in the ass. I gotta go through a permit system to get it okayed. Built this little guy, little outdoor tortoise pen. Got to put some bedding in that. Fence over here is finished. You can see from the backside all the wiring that I put in. Little plate to kind of keep Scotty from driving his little tractor back here. And new project that I started today. Pile of wood used to be the stairs. Those are coming out and we are going to completely rebuild them. This should be interesting.